and introduce you to you first. Fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 69.7 kilograms and trains under Marcus McKeever out of Mandra Combat Sports Academy. Boasting an amateur record, one win, three losses. Fighting out of Perth, Australia, this is Jackson! And introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in at 70.4 kilograms and trains under Romelu Luistro out of Luistro Combat Academy. Boasting an amateur record of two wins, two losses. Fighting out of Perth, Australia. Make some noise for Spencer Mersley! And when our action begins, our referee in charge, Matt Wynn. Tell you what, these boys are ready to go straight at it. Matt Wynn had to stop him while well, he gave his uh, final instructions to both fighters, but they're ready to go, Matthew. Yeah, you can see the Jackson McLennan, only 9, 10 years old. He's a big old lump of meat, and it leads off with beautiful kick from the orthodox stance. He's traditionally a southpaw is McLennan. Interesting approach early on this fight. Goes chest to chest, doesn't quite... I have his underhook, his weight distributed to the underhook side, but relentlessly pursuing this. This matchup presented by proper number 12 Irish whiskey. Yeah, it now went on the in on the legs and looking to connect those two long arms. He'll look to bag up the feet now of the man they call Money Mosley. An aggressive start in the grapple from McLennan. That's right. He's gone uh, gone at it early. I mean, as you said. Uh, he, Spencer Mosley threw a, a nice punch that almost landed, and, and McLennan went for the takedown pretty much straight away, and he's been hasn't let go of that trying to get to the mat. He's had some trouble with the, the grappling in the past, McLennan, so he's obviously gone back to the the wrestling room and, and done a ton of work with his, his coaches and coming out showing some real intent tonight, a change up in the style of McLennan. And 19 years old and so young in their careers that it always impresses me the, the the big leaps and bounds and the skill sets that we see for these fighters as they make uh, recurrent uh, appearances in Eternal. You talked about uh, obviously the skill set. I think that uh, the skill set of Spencer Mosley, he hasn't allowed to take down, so he's uh, he's, he's shown him some good defence here, but he's keen to obviously keeping the feet, and not get taken down. Nice reversal as we uh, speak. Yeah, that was patient there from Mosley and showing some good experience Means. as he he just. Allowed McLennan to burn a little bit of energy. And then when the weight shifted, he spun him around, went back chest to chest. McLennan using a lot of energy early to try and get this takedown. Good risk control from Mosley, who drops his weight, trying to defend what's now a single leg from McLennan. But he is determined not to let go of that, uh, the takedown. Hooks that leg. There he gets it. Allows him access to the standing leg of Mosley and just puts that big long left arm down there and snatches it up. Exposing the back now from Mosley. This is dangerous. His big McLennan goes chest to chest. No hooks in. He doesn't quite need it yet. If he keeps his head above that of Mosley and continues to drive his weight down into that, that post, he can sap the energy of the American. Doing a good job of maintaining the position, McLennan. Who's I thought Mosley was very patient as well. So, yeah, did well to avoid any serious trouble there, Mosley. And he's reversed the position now. But once again, uh, the boys turn the corner. And Mosley goes upstairs with a big right knee that gets the crowd, the crowd's admiration. Hands together now as the, the clackers go. And you look to finish this. McLennan finished big. Round number one, and he gets it, Brett. Man, and that's, uh, that's telling late in the first round, which a lot of the action was taken up with the control by Jackson McLennan and uh, Spencer Mosley defending. On the blue corner would be, if you get into those, as he goes skyward, wow. as you get into those positions, find a, find a moment to get some damage going. Use your hands to start uh, to to do some damage to, so you can progress to a higher higher and higher dominant uh, hierarchy of controls. So, so a flying knee attempt early from uh, from Spencer Mosley, but Jackson McLennan was able to, uh, to get where a lot of the action was uh, you know, took place in the first round. Yeah, and he's managed to, done well to get this one back to the ground. The blue corner feel like they've got an advantage as he goes back hunting here. You need to be careful that he doesn't slide off the top. 
Mosley doing well to get that right elbow inside. That will allow him to transition to an underhook, which he does. And with wrist control and a decent head position, he reversed this, this position to put Jackson's back against the cage. Chest to chest, McLennan. Burrows in low once again, looking for that single leg and once he can create enough of an angle with it, he'll look to turn it into a double. Again, goes back to the single. His posture's a little bit broken, as you see Mosley stuffing that head down. That's a good strategy. And the big tall McLennan having to do some work in this position, but manages to lock his hands up under the hips. And Mosley, once again, with half a round gone in the second, finds himself having to scramble up and showing his back to McLennan, who now has hooks in. This is a different story now, Brett. Going to work on the back. He's got the halfback position. He'll oh, look to clamp that around. down on the hip, but now he's got two hooks. He needs to be careful he doesn't cross his feet. And Mosley's seen it now, so potential for an ankle lock there. Yeah. Mosley knows how to finish it as McLennan goes hunting up for the chin. Gets it out and loses the, the lock, but he's going to try and... Uh, this is what we talked about, patience before. So McLennan, he's been working for this moment, uh, obviously through two rounds, and he had his opportunity there. But again, it was nice work by Mosley to try and trap that ankle. Yeah, and this halfback position that McLennan's assuming with his legs is a good way to stop Mosley getting his hips flat on the mat, which is oh. the first stage he needs to do to mount to defense. And he's not out of not out of the water as the right hand slips underneath the chin of Mosley. He goes to a half Nelson on the far side. He'll, he's, he's got the near side hook in. Mosley not out of danger yet, but does well to transition to a double. 20 seconds now for Money Mosley. He might uh, get a takedown out of his own here. But, uh, but yeah, he almost got the good reversal, but I thought McLennan did well to regain it. And then uh, and we find ourselves in this position with 10 seconds left in round two. Yeah, I feel that was a, a, a crucial moment where Mosley could have make it, made a decision to back off and get going with the hand. Such a credential boxer. See those. Both no, boys have come fresh. here fit to fight. We've seen that a lot tonight. Yeah, you, this is where Mosley, you think, would have to fancy himself as he takes the center of the cage. He's probably down on the judges' scorecards. Uncorks that right hand. We know he's got power there as he's driven back into the mat. Uncorks a beautiful knee. Wow. Needs to disengage here, Mosley, but is turned around, finds himself in a position all too familiar. Outside leg reap from McLennan. He'll look to pick up the single, then transition to the double, which he has. Hands connected under the hips, and Mosley back on the mat. So Mosley's trying to listen to his corner. Uh, you can hear it in the background as well. I think that's Ramel. Yeah, screaming but for he, him to get up. Yeah, that's he, what he needs. All of this is an interesting... Uh, yeah, he's too high with yeah. no hook. So Mosley, if he turns into a quad play, could shake him off, but comes back the wrong direction. You don't say that too often. He's trying to reverse it here, but... Uh, but yeah, this is where McLennan wants to fight it. This has been about control for him. Yeah, doing well there. Went to mount, but... A little bit of sloppy work with the hooks. Mosley can get out of this position if he turns the right direction. He's starting to... He needs to keep that that left arm of McLennan on the opposite side of his head. If he goes two and one, he can just stand up, but he doesn't. McLennan doing well to go to that gut wrench. He needs to put his left shoulder and put some weight forward on Mosley, drive Mosley onto his hands, content to stay back towards the hips. Good wrestling scramble from the two. Both boys tied now as the clock starts to wind down in round number three. And tell you Only what, Jackson McLennan, he, he's desperate for this win at Eternal MMA. And uh, he's on the verge of it. Again, it's all been about control. He's had control for the, obviously, the three rounds. Uh, but uh, he, he can probably smell it now, and he, he wants this win badly. And I love the change-up, Brett. Yes. I, I came here complete. I came here completely expecting to call a striking match between these two. Yeah, it's been a bit of a surprise, isn't it? Looking to crank down. It's Mosley. like he changed it straight after the first punch thrown. It's like I don't go this direction. It's like he surprised us all. <laughs> well, no surprises here. With 40 seconds left to go, as he finishes yet another double, double leg. The stats will tell at the end of this fight. The grappling dominance from the big man, McLennan. Yeah, we've seen some stats in the previous fights about, like, 100% obviously strikes and no takedown uh, uh, 
completed anything like that, I think this is going to be a different story. Mosley looking to hit a switch, but his legs are in the wrong position and just committing to the wrong side. Urgency now with 10 seconds to go. I think that Mosley look back to this fight and be very frustrated looking back at, at, at where he wanted this fight to go. Oh, these are frustrating fights, you know, yeah. for a striker who wants to let his hands go. He just hasn't had the opportunity. He's defended well, hasn't hasn't allowed himself to get into too much danger with Whoa. submissions. The crowd here at HBS Stadium do not like this fight at all. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. Our judges score this fight 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27. For your winner, via unanimous decision, in the blue corner, Jackson!